I'm Gary Bromley. Welcome to Yoga Class, a complete 60 minute practice to invigorate, improve mobility and bring clarity to your mind. I've designed this practice to begin with a three minute relaxation period, bringing awareness onto your natural breath, experiencing its rhythmic flow below the navel, followed by a gentle series of limbering up exercises to open the joints, unblock and stimulate energy flow. Then we will flow through a series of dynamic and static postures to cleanse and strengthen whilst continuing to generate and circulate energy through the whole body. We will conclude with a meditation to centre the body and mind. So, begin your yoga journey with an open mind. Allow change to happen and discover the wonderful joy yoga may bring to you. Namaste. Before we begin our practice today, please make yourself comfortable with lots of space and an environment where you'll not be disturbed. I'd like to introduce you to Alida, who's going to help demonstrate easier versions of the postures where necessary. Remember to make your practice an enjoyable, fun experience without any undue strain. Let's begin by lying back into peaceful pose, bringing our awareness onto the breath and allowing our mind body to relax. Rolling back, keeping the chin slightly tucked, lengthening out one leg at a time, just allowing the spine to soften into the mat. You can gently close the eyes. First of all, just allowing the body to relax, letting go of all external, taking your attention inwards, and just allowing the mind body to be free. bringing our awareness onto the flow of breath. So to bring our awareness to the natural flow of breath, we're not trying to control or force a breath. We're simply observing the breath below the navel without control, making the breath conscious. It may help you to experience this flow of breath by placing your right hand below the navel left hand on top and continue bring your awareness to the flow of breath below the navel remember we're making the breath conscious without control you may observe the rising of the abdomen on the inhalation and the falling on the exhalation each breath bringing vital force, life force, through the whole body and releasing on the exhalation. Just continue to observe the flow of breath. Relaxing your arms out to the side. As we slowly open the eyes, Through the remainder of the sequence, just continue to allow your awareness onto the flow of breath without control. Continue to observe your breath. The following series of limbering up exercises will begin to open and nourish the joints, stimulate the flow of blood, lymph, spinal fluid and the circulation of energy through the meridians. These exercises give quick effective relief can be done at any time of the day and in any location. And slowly open the eyes there. Bring up the right leg, left leg, rolling to the right side. Use the left hand there to push and twist to come around to all fours, lengthen through the spine. Bring the right leg through, left leg, place the feet hip width apart, and slowly roll up. Tuck the chin right in, up to standing. And keep the feet hip width apart. Bring the hands into prayer pose. Close the eyes. Just spend a few moments. Just allow the body to center. 
Just letting the nervous system harmonise. And relaxing the arms down to the side of the body, the eyes open. Now begin our joint release. We'll commence in mountain pose. Firstly, having awareness on alignment, our correct posture. So commencing with the feet, feel the weight even under the balls of the foot, the outside edge of the foot and the heels. Keep the knee joint soft and unlocked. Slightly tuck the sacrum, abdomen soft, and continue to lengthen up through the spine. Widen through the shoulders, relax through the arms, the fingers. Continue to lengthen through the back of the neck and slightly tuck the chin. Just have awareness of the spine lifting upwards through the crown of the head. Feel a lightness. Maintain the posture. As we gently close the eyes. Just keep your awareness on the spine lengthening, observing the breath below the navel. Just allow all effort on any muscle, connective tissue, all tension to release out of the body. Feeling that the body is supported by the skeletal system. Just observing an inner smile through the body. Awareness of the feet open to the earth, the crown to the sky. Just placing our awareness in these two energy centres without force, just awareness. And slowly opening the eyes there as we begin our joint release. Tucking the chin in towards the sternum. Slowly taking the chin towards the left shoulder, lengthening upwards, extending through the neck as we come through to the centre. Dynamic movements, opening the circulation, the back of the neck up to the brain, and alternate. Lengthening as the head comes through to the centre. So we're just allowing the natural arch to lay in the back of the neck, the cervical spine. That sensation of lifting upwards and back to centre there. Coming into a mouse stretch and closing there. Let the shoulders relax, float the arms up shoulder height in the pump and begin to take them a little wider behind the body. Just loosening the shoulders, opening the chest and relaxing the arms down to the side of the body. Backward shoulder rolls. Just letting the shoulders soften. Isolating the movement to the shoulders. And alternate. Differentiating, using one shoulder movement at a time. Laying the arms to relax. Begin wrist rotations, opening up the joints through the body, nourishing, bringing blood supply, fluid into the joints. And alternate. Just bring your awareness into the wrist joint. Slow clawing action. Isolate the movements to the fingers and thumbs. Feeling each joint being moved. And release. An opening and closing of the fist. Stretching. Just allow the shoulders to relax as we come into hand shaking. Just letting any tension go out of the forearms, out of the body. A lot of tension stored through the arms. Just let it all go. Let the face soften and continue awareness on the breath. 
is bringing the hands to shoulder height and coming back down. Give the fingers a wriggle there. Now place your weight on your right foot, sink down through the right foot, right leg, bring up the left leg, unlock the hip joint, flexion extension of the ankle joint. Just continue to isolate the movement, rotations. Just feel the movement through the joint, feel like you're drawing a circle with the big toe and alternate. give the leg a shake. Opposite side, sink down through the left foot, bring up the right leg, extend, flexion extension of the joint. Feel the movement through the joint. Continue to lengthen up through the spine and rotations. Isolate the movement and alternate have trouble balancing at home, use a chair to support yourself. And shake, bring the right foot back, back to mountain, and so rising and sinking. Rising up to the balls of the feet, sinking back to the heels. As you rise, keep the weight even under the balls of the foot, keep the knees going over the toes. Strengthen the arches of the feet, Supporting the spine. And back to mountain there. Beginning circles. Isolating the movement to the hips, lower back. Massaging all the abdominal organs. And alternate. Just allow your whole body to soften, continue the awareness of breath below the abdomen. And come back to centre there. Spinal flexion by tucking the pelvis back and under, isolating the movement to the pelvis. Feel the pelvis being moved as you tuck back and tuck under. Pumping spinal fluid up the spine, massaging the nerves through the sacrum. Upper body pump, feel the sternum open, tuck the chin in. Sternum opens. An area of the body that becomes quite dormant, feel the sternum open, tuck the chin in opening the cranial pump at the base of the skull at the same time, activating sacral and cranial pumps through the body. And come back to mountain. Again, three slow forward rolls, the small sink, feel the spines light, tuck the chin in, relax the shoulders, slowly roll down, feeling one vertebrae at a time peeling through the spine as you roll down. Keep the knee joints soft over the toes, Relax the back of the hands, tuck the chin in, push through the feet, slowly roll up. Just remember we're opening the joints through the body, we're not stretching, just feeling movement through the joints. Tuck the chin in, slowly roll down. Slowly roll up. Keep the knees bent, allow the spine to be light. Make the legs do all the work. Chin tucked in, slowly roll down. Push through the feet. Back to mountain there, rock rolling. Coming forward onto the toes and back to the heels. Just feel the weight go through the outside edge of the foot. Starting to open up. The feet, the meridians, the kidney, spleen, liver, runs through the legs. And come back to mountain there, with the feet flat. Just allow the body to relax and let all the fascia release through the body. 
connective tissue that wraps around all the organs, the bones, just let it all release. A lot of tension held through the fascia in the body, a lot of inflexibility, just let it all release. And bouncing on the balls of the feet, keeping the heels off the ground, and little jumps. Now, if you find this causes a strain on the body, just remain with the feet flat, like Elida, and continue bouncing. Starting to pump lymphatic fluid through the body, circulation, warming the body. And relax back to mountain there. Place the right hand below the navel, left hand on top, gently close the eyes, Observe the breath below the navel. Just allow the diaphragm to come back to its natural rhythm. When we open our eyes, we will commence a small series of dynamic and static postures that will help unblock energy flow through the back and front of the body. By having a free flow of prana or life force, we can prevent many illnesses, ranging from high blood pressure insomnia, headaches and arthritis. Relaxing your arms out to the side in mountain. Slowly open the eyes. We're going to come down to all fours. Soften the knee joints. Tuck the chin in. Slow roll down. Keep the weight under the feet. Place the hands. Extend back the right leg left leg, lengthen through the spine, bring the buttocks back, come back into diamond pose. Lengthen through the spine. Take the arms out wide, in a dynamic diamond, hands together in prayer, bring the hands down through the centre of the body. Extending from the hip joint, lengthen through the spine, feel the spine release, tuck the chin in and roll up. Take the arms wide, lengthen upwards, just allow the arms to float down through the centre of the body. Beautiful movement to cleanse all the digestive system. Open the whole energy channel through the front and back of the body. Taking the arms out wide, gathering universal energy, taking it down to the Dartian. Keep the length as you come forward. Tuck the chin right in. Lengthen up through the spine. Come forward onto all fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees hip width apart. As we begin our dynamic cat. Take the navel towards the floor. Feel the sitting bones spread. Tuck the chin in, contract the buttocks. And continue dynamically. Feel the whole spine being moved. Feel the pelvis go towards the ground. As you tuck the chin in, tuck the pelvis under. Cleansing the digestive system. Strengthening the kidneys. And holding, navel towards the ground, sitting bones towards the ceiling. Holding in a static pose. Observing the breath below the navel as you tuck the chin in. Extend through the spine. Feel the stretch start from the sacrum up through the spine. Hold the stretch as you take the buttocks back to the heels. Feel the stretch through the back of the spine, sacrum, lower back. Keep the chin tucked in, the hair pose. Sliding the hands forward into lizard. Just wait till the hips are above the kneecaps. Rest the forehead on the ground. Relax the forearms. Feel the front of the chest release towards the mat. Just allow the natural arch to come into the spine. Opening up the flow of energy into the lungs and heart. Rolling back into child pose. Just 
Feel the posterior spine open. Feel the shoulder blades relax, the shoulders. Feel the organs through the body soften, the heart, the lungs. Continue to observe the breath. The standing exercises continue to open the whole energetic system. Emphasis is placed on opening the legs, pelvis, arms and trunk before doing floor exercises. Some of these postures are quite strong. Continue through the series with awareness and without any strainful effort. Opening our eyes there, we're going to come up to mountain pose. Use the hands as support. Lengthening through the spine, coming back into diamond. Keep lengthening through the spine as you come forward onto all fours. Bring the right leg through, left leg, place the feet hip width apart, tuck the chin in, weight under the feet and slowly roll up. Into mountain pose. Just check there that the foundation's correct. Feet hip width apart, toes slowly turning out, slightly turning out. Commencing eagle folding its wings. Small sink, let the thumbs lead up, bringing the hands down through the centre of the body, placing the back of the hands over the kidneys and the small of the back, folding from the hip joint. Keep lengthening as you come forward. Feel the spine release, roll the shoulders through, roll up, push through the feet. You may find that the hips are tight. If they're tight, just roll down in a forward roll as Elida is doing. Bring the arms down through the centre of the body, placing them over the small of the back, folding from the hip joint. Feel that there's a rod through the crown of the head, neck and spine, all moving as one unit. Release the shoulders, keep the weight even under your feet. Spine's light. Small sink, rising, gathering universal energy, taking it down through the middle heater, into the kidneys, folding from the hip joint, lengthening, feel the spine release, roll the shoulders, rolling up there, back to mountain. Now continue in the tortoise, step out the left leg, Right leg, place the hands in the small of the back. Small sink. Just check your knees are over your toes before you come forward. Extending through the spine, fold from the hip joints or roll down if the spine's tight, as Elida's doing. Hold in a static pose and keep feeling the length through the crown of the head. So the face, the chest and abdomen are all parallel to the ground. Now let the spine release and roll forward. Coming into a tortoise forward bend. Feel the stretch through the lower back. Important to keep the knees over the toes and just behind the toes. As we move into five dynamic squats. Just sinking the buttocks down to 45 degrees. Keep the knees over the toes and behind the toes. Keep the movement dynamic and flowing. It's quite a strong posture. If you find it difficult doing the squats, just do what Elida's doing, small squats or leave the squats out. And holding our fifth squat, keep the knee behind the toes and the knee directly over the toes. Keep the chin tucked in, continue to observe your breath. And lengthen into a tortoise forward bend. Just feel the stretch through the spine. Observe the breath below the navel. Small sink before you roll up. Tuck the chin in. Stepping the feet in. I'm going to come into a monkey. Place the hands over the small of the back. Just check the feet. You see the feet, the hip width, parallel. Sink. Again, fold from the hip joint. If the hips are tight in the spine, roll forward into a forward bend. Holding the monkey. Keep the length through the spine, keep the knees over the toes, 
tuck the chin in, let the spine release. Fold forward, fill a 70% stretch through the back of the legs. Keep the knee joints soft, fill the stretch through the back of the legs. Coming into our three part stretch as we bend the knees, fill the stretch through the back. So all through the lower back, knees bent, just stretching out the lower back. Now keeping the stretch on the lower back, slowly lengthen through the back of the legs and feel an equal stretch, back of the legs and through the spine. Keep the chin tucked in, the gaze up between the legs towards the ceiling. Keep the knee joints soft. Begin five dynamic squats, not taking the buttocks any lower than parallel. Again, if the action is too strong, just work with awareness, small squats as Alibur's doing. Most important to keep the knees going over the toes. It's a dynamic action. Avoid locking the knee joint as you rise before you sink into the next squat. Holding the fifth squat in a static pose just to allow the body to relax. Keep the knees over the toes. And keep your awareness on the breath. Coming through into a forward bend. Take hold of the ankles. Tuck the chin right in and go into a deeper stretch. And just remain as Elder is doing. Go a little deeper into the stretch, you can draw up the quadriceps above the kneecaps. Observe the breath. Relax the hands, bend the knees, feel the lower back release. Keep observing the breath. Full flow of breath below the navel, slowly rolling up. Coming back to mountain, small sink, take the arms out to the side of the body and counter posture and hold in palm tree. Keep feeling the length up through the back of the spine. Strengthening the heart, lungs. Just continue to feel the length through the spine. Releasing the hands down through the front of the body, small sink. As we continue with three more folding its wings movements, taking the thumbs up, hands down through the centre of the body, over the kidneys, folding from the hip joint. It's a dynamic movement, it's circulating energy through the front and back of the body, push through the feet. Small sink. Very strengthening postures to all the legs, the foundation of the body, supporting the spine, folding from the hip joint, extending, and rolling up. Keep the weight under the feet. Sink. Taking the energy down to the Dartian, the core energy centre in the body. Continuing to fold from the hip joint. Rolling the shoulders. Back to mountain. Just be with your breath. Eyes closed. Observing your breath below the navel. Feel the spine lengthen. Continue to observe the free flow of breath below the navel. By placing the body in different floor postures, we are able to focus energy to specific organs through the meridian channels. These postures continue to improve range of movement, strengthen, cleanse, invigorate the body and calm the mind. slowly open the eyes there. We're going to roll down to all fours. Soften the knee joints, tuck the chin, slowly roll down. Extend back the right leg, left leg. Lengthen through the spine, tuck the toes under. So we come into downward dog. Take the hips up and back, lengthen through the arms. Lengthen through the spine. You're tight through the back of the legs and the hips. Keep the knee joints bent. 
and continue to take the buttocks up and back as you take your heels into the ground. Let the shoulders relax. Keep lengthening through the spine. Bring the right leg through, left knee to the ground. Feel the front of the left hip release towards the ground. Keep the length through your spine as you lift. Place the right hand on top of the thigh and continue to lift up through the spine. Feel the chest centre, the sternum lift. Relax the shoulders, take your arms wide. Rotate the little fingers in, feel the shoulder blades open and relax. Continue to length. Place the hands back to the side of the foot, tuck the toes under, back into dog. Bring the left leg through. Sail the hip to release. Keep the knee over the ankle joint as you lift. Lengthen up through the spine. Release the arms, extend upwards. And hold the pose there. Just remain with the hands on the thighs. If the pose is too strong, you continue to lift. Take the hands back. Step back the left leg. The downward dog. Feel the length through the spine. Keep the gaze upwards between the legs. Let the shoulders relax. Bring the knees back to the ground. Roll back into child pose. Just be with your breath. And allow the body to release. Let go. Feel the body softening. Coming up to diamond pose, lengthen through the crown of the head, use the hands. Hands on the thighs. Feel the length through the back of the body as we come into bind. Lengthen up through the right arm. Bring the left arm across the body, cross just above the elbow joint, left thumb facing the nose, twist the right hand through, bring the palms together. Just feel the shoulders relax, take the elbows away from the heart, Away from the chest. Be with your breath. Feel the back of the spine, all the trapezius muscles open and release. Opposite arm, left arm, and cross, twist, bringing the palms together. Cleansing the heart and lungs. Strengthen the posterior lungs, the kidneys. Keep feeling the length through the spine. Feel the shoulders come away from the ears. And release. We come into the extended bind pose. Keep the length through the spine. Take the arms wide. Interlace the fingers. Turn the palms up. And lengthen. Feel the lift. Feel the ribs start to separate. Lift upwards, shoulders relaxed, and release there. Come forward onto all fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. As we come into the tiger pose, lengthen out through the right leg. Stabilise the pelvis. Point the toes towards the back of the head. Bring the thigh through to the chest. Tuck the chin in and continue dynamically. Lengthen. Knees, bring the chest and continue dynamically. Feel the length through the abdomen as you extend the leg back, tuck the toes in and cleanse the lungs digestive system as the thigh comes through. Bring the right knee back. Centre, extend, take the left leg up, extend back, isolate the pelvis, toes towards the back of the head. Excellent posture to strengthen all the spine, the sciatic nerve. Continue to work to keep the pelvis stable as you take the leg back.
lengthen and back to all fours there. Roll back into child pose. And relax, feel the breath below the navel. Feel each inhalation at the joints, osculating, energizing, releasing. As we lift back into diamond pose, we're gonna come forward into sitting. Come forward onto all fours. Twist onto the right hip, bring the legs around front. Now extend through each foot, just relax the sitting bones, place the hands alongside the hips, keep the extension up through the spine. Keep the elbow joints soft, unlocked, feel the length up through the spine. The hips and back is tight, you can sit on a cushion to get more length through the spine. As we take the arms up, we're going to come into a sitting forward bend. Keep the length upwards and forwards as you come forward. Rest there, take hold of the ankles or a towel and continue to lift upwards and forwards. Just observe the breath. So you're folding from the hip joints bringing the abdomen down to thighs. Avoid the back rounding out as you slowly lower the thighs, the abdomen. Allow the head to relax between the shins, arms relaxed. You go a little deeper into the posture, you can extend out through the heels, keep the knee joints soft. Just allow the whole body to soften. Just harmonising the liver energy through the body. Feel the crown of the head releasing towards the feet. Observing your breath. And extending through the arms, open the sternum, extend through the crown as you lift. Work from the core centre of the body, the abdomen, and come back down there. Coming into sitting, cross the right leg on top of the left. Keep the lift up through the spine. And do a spinal twist. Place the left hand on the outside of the knee. Move from the navel. Feel the pelvis stable before you twist. And then continue the movement through the lumbar spine, thoracic, cervical spine. Continue to lift up through the spine. Keep lengthening. cleansing the liver and come back to centre there, opposite side, lift, stabilise the pelvis, feel the navel move, feel the body follow. Keep lengthening, and come back to centre there. Extend out one leg at a time, right leg, left leg. And roll back into lying pose, bring up one leg and slowly come back. You need to come forward on your mat. Extend out one leg at a time. Palms up. Just allow the spine to soften. Just letting go. Observing your breath. Just letting go of all tension. Bringing up the right leg, left leg, facing the soles of the feet. Just a little wider than the hip width and parallel. Take the arms out to the shoulders. Let's begin the dynamic crocodile twist. Take the legs out to the left. Look towards the right hand and alternate. Dynamic movements, circulating energy through the body, through the digestive system, kidneys, colon. Opening up the flow of energy to the gallbladder. bladder. 
Just feel the spine relax into its natural state. Leave the legs to the right, look towards the left hand. Observe the breath below the navel. Feel the hip joint release as you extend out through the top thigh. Alternate to the opposite side. Just feel the stretch through the sciatic nerve, lower back. Shoulders relaxed. Come back to centre. Extend out the left leg. Bring up the right thigh. Take it into the abdomen and hold. Feel the stretch through the lower back, sciatic nerve. And release. Place the hand on the outside of the right knee. Take it across the body. Keep the chin tucked in. Just check there that the right shoulder is grounded. So right shoulder relaxed, grounded. Don't force the movement, just allow the hip joint, lower back to release with the breath. And come back to centre. Extend the right leg out straight. Bring up the left. Take the thigh in. Keep the chin slightly tucked. Feel the length through the back of the neck. Release back to centre. Cross to the right. And just allow the abdomen to relax. Continuing to open the flow of energy into the gallbladder. Lengthening the sciatic nerve. And come back to centre. Extend out the left leg. Bring up the right and left. Grasp below the knees as you come into wound pose. Just feel the back of the abdomen soften into the mat. Keep the chin tucked, keep the alignment with the ankle, knee and hips. Shoulders relaxed. And release the soles of the foot there. Place the arms out to the side of the body, palms down as we come into bridge pose. So tucking the pelvis under, Begin to lift through the thighs as you take the pelvis up towards the ceiling, feeling one vertebrae release off the ground and slowly coming down. Dynamic movement, feel one vertebrae rolling back into the mat, feel the back of the abdomen relax, shoulders relax and lift, feel the movement, feel one vertebrae at a time. Feel the undulating movement through the whole spine. Feel the sternum open, the chest, and slowly come down. Excellent movement to free the whole spine. And once more, we're going to come into a static posture, tucking the pelvis under, and lifting the front of the hips towards the ceiling. Keep the neck and shoulders relaxed. Keep lifting through the front of the chest. Just check the hips are even. Be with your breath, continue to breathe. And slowly come down. Feel the back of the abdomen rest. Excellent. Grasp around the knees, take the thighs in. Counter posture. Feel the stretch through the lower back. Massaging all the colon. And release there. Join the soles of the feet together. Just allow the knees to fall out to the earth, palms up in birth pose. And close the eyes. Just continue to observe the breath below the navel. Feel the breath as it travels right through the pelvic cavity. Each inhalation softening, expanding and releasing on the exhalation. And 
opening the flow of energy to the liver, kidneys and spleen. Continue to release. And bring the knees back together. Womb pose. Shoulders relax. And releasing one leg out of the time, right leg, left leg into peaceful pose. And before you close the eyes, make any adjustment to your clothing. If you find you have back soreness or back problems, bring up one leg at a time, have the knees bent. That will all demonstrate. Once you're comfortable, soften the eyes, close the eyes. Just allow the whole body to undo. Let go. Letting go of all resistance. Observing your breath below the navel. The natural flow of breath. Just allow the face to soften, the eyes, the tongue and jaw all relaxed. All the neck relax. Feel the heart open, the chest, the sternum. Feel the shoulders release, the arms, hands and fingers. Feel the abdomen soften, lower back releasing. Hips, groin, legs, feet and toes, all letting go. Whole body free of all tension. Just allow the mind to be free. Letting go of all role play, all commitment. Just allowing ourselves to be in the present. Experiencing the peacefulness, calmness, who with each breath the life force, each breath re energizing, replenishing, rejuvenating. change through the whole mind body. Continue to observe the breath. Keeping the eyes closed, we're going to roll to the right side, bringing up the right leg, the left leg, rolling to the side, Come up to sitting cross-legged with the eyes closed and bringing the hands into prayer pose. Remain with the flow of breath. Just allowing the energy through the body to settle. Slowly open the eyes. Well done. I hope this practice will help you begin your day with openness and peace. Namaste.